Hi, welcome to Rising Vibration. This reading is for Scorpio. This is for Scorpio Sun, Moon, and Rising for the next month until the middle of April 2018. This is for if you are watching this video and you have a Scorpio and you are still a fool for love. We all have been there, no judgment, and you want to get your Scorpio back in your life. This is assuming that it was not an acrimonious split and that it was not a highly negatively charged split or separation from your formal Virgo, Sun, Moon, or Rising seriously committed partner. And it is also assuming that you haven't hit the point of return and perhaps you still may be in contact with the Scorpio. You wouldn't be afraid to pick up the phone and talk to them. Let's put it like that. I haven't said that for any other sign, but with the Scorpio, it feels warranted. You would not be able to pick up the phone to reach out to them. So we are going to look at your former partner, where they are right now, how they're feeling right now, what they want right now. We're going to also look at if they've been able to move on in another seriously committed partnership, relationship, and where that's at now. And we're going to look at overall strategies you can employ to try to build a bridge back to them. So the Scorpio sun, moon, rising sign right now, I would say is more in a process mode and they are looking forward to life even alone. They are ready to take this step. Even they may have been reluctant to leave the relationship, to end the relationship, and to be left, especially if you left the Scorpio. They were reluctant. They did not want it to end, but now they almost feel like uh, hindsight is twenty twenty in the way that things seem quite positive for them now. They have some opportunities coming forward to them, and it doesn't seem like it's necessarily another person. They're just maybe adjusting to being alone. They're adjusting to being alone. They're getting used to it. They're getting used to it, and they're seeing the benefits of being alone now. This is for your Scorpio sun, moon, and rising. And this is how they feel right now. It can change, but this is the overall uh, feeling right now for Scorpio sun, moon, and rising between now and the middle of April 2018. So let's see what they want right now. We have Major Arcana, the Wheel of Fortune. We have Major Arcana, the Moon, and we also have the King of Cups. So this is just, they're filling um, with this lineup here, three Major Arcanas. They're feeling quite comfortable in their newly found, newly discovered single life, being singular, being alone. They're getting used to it. If they feel like it suits them well, they're rediscovering aspects of themselves that uh, they may have forgotten. Uh, they may be picking up, uh, yeah, they're discovering things about themselves that they have, have forgotten. They're enjoying being alone, even if that means everything about being alone when you're single and you can walk around your house naked and all of these type of things, little basic things, but they're enjoying this. They're enjoying having their time to themselves and being able to do whatever they want to do. Uh, it also, <laughs> I have to say it, it also feels like they may be doing some sneaky little things and I, and I don't agree with that, I have to say, but it does feel like even if they're watching a porn movie or something like this. They like it that they don't have to hide this from anyone. That's what I have, guys. I see, I, I see that somehow here. Your Scorpio, also this is just coming through, your former Scorpio's sun, moon, rising, especially if you left him or her, they also may be spying on you and you may not realize it but they may be spying on you and they may have even gone to the point where they have very advanced advanced methods of observing you. But you do not realize this. So 
So it's more of the same uh, in terms of where they are uh, with moving on or trying to take up a new partnership, a new relationship. They're not quite there yet, but they're excited about the prospects of the new. This is the leap. They're excited uh, about this. They, it seems that they haven't really been moving forward. They like being alone right now. But this feels to me like they're indulging themselves while they're alone, not necessarily physically with a person. Um, if it is with a person, it's not serious. We'll leave it there because this is typically G-rated readings. I'm going to leave it there, guys. So let's see what else we have about what you can do if you want to get your Scorpio back in your life. Let's see. If you want to build a bridge back, I'm hearing it will be difficult, but let's see. Major Arcana, Major Arcana, we have the Lovers, we have the Chariot, and finally we have the Six of Cups. So if you want to have something like a strategy to get your Scorpio Sun, Moon, Rising back in your life, it would be wise to give an impression that it's not forced and that you're not putting pressure on them. All conversations should be quite open and quite refined in terms of how you address them. And if they found you very sexy and alluring, whether that you're a man or a woman in the past, you will have to rely and kind of revert back to the best version of yourself, uh, even how you behave, how you carried yourself. Um, it feels very sexual, it feels very sensuous to reignite their interest. They would be open to it because they haven't really found a way to move on and they are enjoying being alone. But if you want to approach them, it should not feel in any way pressured you should not feel in any way pressured. And if you reach out to them, try to rely on references to the past, but also try, okay, no one can become who they were in the past. We all change, we all grow. But if it's an overlying aspect that you know that your Scorpio former partner, lover, husband, or wife appreciated about you, um, I'm not sure how to describe that. It might be good to revive revive this or revitalize this aspect that you know that they appreciate it about you. So that's what I have for those of you who want to get your Scorpio sun, moon, rising back. You're a fool for love and you want them back in your life. I hope that you liked, shared, and subscribed the video if you did. Thank you. And I will see you back here next month.